What is it, so? Listen well, children. We will drive these ruffians away, but you must follow my every command. What? But we're no match for them. You're serious, Grandpapa? He's always serious. It's just that this time he's also crazy. We can't do this. Half a dozen children can't win against mountain knights. Oh, I, I want my mother. I want to go home. Enough. The only way you're going home is by fighting as if your life depends on it. Um, Selica. Uh, sir! I trust you to remember some of what I taught you with the sword. Now, clear the mind, steady the hand, and show me what you've learned. Only you can get yourselves through this. Are you ready? I want you to follow my every command. First, get yourselves to a safer position. Keep your distance from the enemy. Don't try to pursue them. Take shelter in the trees there. They can provide cover. Remember, always use the surrounding terrain to your advantage. Let me at him! All right. Uh, okay. Allow me. You've done all you can for now. Now brace for their attack. Do better! You're no match for me! Too careless! Enough! I will see this through! Watch this! Thank <laughs> you. 
They nearly have me. But not today. I must return to the castle. General Desai will be eager to learn that we have found her. The princess who refuses to die. <laughs> actually did it! Look at him run, Grandpapa! So, wait, how did we do that exactly? <laughs> it's all in the wrist. You wish. We only survived because we did exactly as Sir Mycin commanded. Oh, yeah? Does that mean Sir Mycin commanded you to sob like a baby? <sighs> how can you guys joke about this? Grandpapa, Celica, that was great! <sighs> what? You're not happy? We saved the village from those despicable knaves! We're heroes! I mean, if nothing else, we're not dead. You could at least crack a smile. Um, you don't understand. Now that they know Selica is here, they will stop at nothing. It's no longer safe for her to stay in the village. What? But... why? It doesn't have to be like that. Well, this turned into a fine mess. Well done, Arm. We'll end today's training here. give for some food. It's been years since we've had a proper harvest. Can't grow much without rain. Why has Mela forsaken us? What's happened to the Earth Mother? She's killing us by withholding her blessings. The Regellian Empire will seize our lands and we'll be too weak to resist. You've heard how well-trained their soldiers are, haven't you? We've never toiled or fought for a thing, and we're about to pay for it. here to see Sir Mycin. He was just about to tell us more. Good day. You must be Sir Mycin's grandson. Alm, was it? My name is Lucas. I fight for the Deliverance. The Deliverance? What's that? Aren't you one of the Knights of Zofia? The King's Knights? Oh, I see. I suppose that means word hasn't yet reached your village. In that case... Please forgive me for heralding such dark news, but King Lima IV is dead. He met his end some days ago at the hands of Chancellor Desai. What? You're saying it was regicide? I fear so. 
It seems to say sold Sophia to the Brigalian Empire, along with his soul. No doubt they promised him lands, perhaps even a title. Upon Lima's death, the Chancellor and the Brigalian army seized Sophia Castle and began to visit unspeakable injustices upon the King's people. Sir Clive, of the Knights of Sophia you mentioned, would have none of it. He formed an army to free us from Regal and named it the Deliverance. However, we are outmatched and fast losing this war. We need a hero's aid. And so, I have come to the home of one of Sophia's greatest heroes, Sir Myson. Do you see, Alm? Sir Clive would not have sent me were it not urgent. Will you take me to see your grandfather? Uh Yes, of course. Good goblets. I knew Zofia was in hot water, but is this guy serious? S so there's going to be a war? There already is one from the sound of things. But that's... that's awful. If Sir Myson rides off to war, what'll happen to Alm? You got me. Lucas, were you able to speak with my grandfather? What did he say? He said no. Sir Myson made it clear he has no intention of joining the Deliverance. What? But he's ridiculously strong! He could defeat some stuffy Chancellor with his eyes closed. Why would he refuse when so many people are suffering? I cannot speak to Sir Myson's thinking, but it seems we misplaced our hopes. I'll have to return to our hideout and bring Sir Clive the ill news. Perhaps Myson has simply grown too old for the battlefield. <laughs> it was good meeting you, Alm. I must be on my way. Thank you again for your assistance. He's not old. He's tougher than men half his age. Lucas! Wait! Um, what is it? I'll go. I'll join the Deliverance. You? Oh, what the hell? You can't do that. Wait, can he do that? I'll admit, you fight like a beast and they'd be lucky to have your sword. But this isn't sparring with your grandson. You're volunteering to go to war. I know what it is. And if Grandfather won't do it, then I'll do it for him. Consider my sword as his. Um. I understand how you feel, but... Sir Myson has been teaching me to use a blade since I was a boy. I've received tutelage in military tactics, medicine, weather, terrain. I know as much about war as any man who has never seen one can. Let me fight for you with my grandfather's gifts. I'll prove he's no cowardly old man. He's a warrior who trains warriors. Hmm. That might just work. Huh? Then you mean... Oh, come on. You can't be serious. Why not? Alm presents a good case. He has a hero's blood in him, and clearly a hero's fire. His presence is sure to raise the troops' morale. And for my part, I'm curious to see what a self-proclaimed warrior can do, especially now that he'll be doing it for the Deliverance. Thank you, Lucas. You won't regret this. <sighs> I've seen a lot of cake taking in my day, but this really takes the cake. Um, you should back out of this. It's far too dangerous. If anything were to happen to you, I'd... I mean, just don't do it, okay? I'm sorry, Faye, but I've made up my mind. But... Maybe all of you could come with me. Uh, what? Splendid idea. Maybe we could all get impaled on the same lance. <sighs> I'm just saying we could do it together. Fighting, I mean, not the lance. Grandfather trained all of us, right? Not just me. You already know how to use a sword and a bow. So what's the problem? Oh, are you insane? We were sparring with wooden fences and tree trunks. They don't hit back. Oh, sod it all. I'm not as bright as I'd like to think I am, so, uh, count me in. Gray, not you too. Me too, Toby Poo. It's better than waiting for Regal to reach Ram and kill slash enslave us. Might as well bring the fight to them. But you're gonna... I mean, once they... <sighs> you have my thanks, Gray, and the Deliverance welcomes you. 
In the end, we need every able fighter we can get. There will be much to learn, but I can teach you a great deal in battle. And you'll be given a proper wage, of course. Wait, uh, you mean we get paid? As in actual money? Of course. Our soldiers work hard and sacrifice much. We would be remiss not to offer compensation. <sighs> I've got little brothers and sisters who could use that gold. Ma and Pa struggle to make ends meet. But if there's a way to help... Mm... Tobin, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Why don't you all take a little time to think about it? <laughs>